Peace, infinite waters diving deep. Once again, we are out here in the heart of nature, baby. <sighs> Breathing in that good ass prana. How to stop caring for people who hurt you. <gasps> Don't worry about it. That's the question that came in, and we're going to dive into this, right? How to stop caring for people who time after time just hurt you, right? Someone asked me on the Snapchat, they say they are really caring towards this person, and repeatedly, right, they are getting used like a doormat. And that's not fun, because we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> now, have you ever experienced that? I have, okay? Along my early journey, I've even been in relationships where I was so caring towards that person, and in return, I wasn't receiving the same back. I've been in friendships where I was the one who was giving, and I wasn't receiving anything back. At the same time, I've also been on the other end, where somebody was really treating me so well, and I didn't reciprocate, okay? So I'm going to share with you what's helped me along my journey because tons of people are going through this. Now, I even got a question about vegan activism, right? When you're really like promoting that vegan message for the seven day vegan challenge and people just throw it right back in your face. Like at least they could throw back some grapes in your face. No, they just throw it right back in your face. Lots of rubbish. Okay. What's number one? The first secret that helped me along my journey is ask yourself, what is my nature? Because time and time again, we forget our nature and we just see the other person's nature. So I've spoken about the Zen story where a master and the student are walking along and they sit down and the master gets bitten by a scorpion and the student is like, Master, are you going to allow that to happen? And the master being in that Zen moment is like, what just happened? Okay, they walk away, they come back to the same spot and the scorpion is trapped, it's stuck and then the student is like, huh, you see master, that is the scorpion's karma. Let's leave it there, let's run away. And then the master said, no, you see, my nature is to save, even though the scorpion's nature is to bite, I'm going to live out my nature. Slow motion this side. Okay, and that is such a powerful metaphor for life. Okay, certain times people are going to treat you bad. They're going to do you dirty. Now you have a choice. To ask yourself, whose nature, whose nature am I living? Right? Because their nature is hurting you. Now, if we go on to the second secret to stop caring for people who continually hurt you, don't copy them. Don't become like these people. Please don't. Right? And that's such an easy trap to fall in. I nearly did. Certain times people treat you really shitty and you're like, okay, I've got to be like them. No, then you end up being clones like them. you got to rise higher. Okay? Don't copy them. Just like that Zen master didn't copy the scorpion's actions. He was following his own nature. And that's what's helped me along my journey. Because you know what it's like in the workplace. Certain times people do things and maybe they didn't even mean, maybe, just maybe, <laughs> they didn't even mean to hurt you. But you've perceived it that way, okay? And now you are mimicking their actions. It's what we call tit for tat. Lots of games. Don't copy them, plain and simple. Number three. Now, seven day vegan challenge. I got a question in the comments. I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna do a whole video on vegan, vegan, 
<laughs> vegan activism, okay? Someone asked, like, we are trying to talk about the animals and promote, like, what's going on behind the scenes in these slaughterhouses, and people just don't care about all the animal suffering. Like, over 64 billion animals killed, over 64 billion animals killed every single year. Now, I've got a massive platform here, and I always talk about the 7-Day Vegan Challenge, but I'm going to share with you to stop caring for the people who don't care themselves, right? Who are hurting you through their actions. You've got to ask yourself this. Where is my focus? Because you can focus on those that don't want to hear a message, or you can focus on people that do. Right now, I have people sending me lots of strawberries they're arriving at my doorstep why because i focus on people doing the seven day vegan challenge i'm helping people eat a plant-based diet because because i've seen because i've seen the benefits of what it's done for me baby okay so you got to ask yourself if you are promoting that vegan message and people you feel are hurting you just realize it's not that personal. It's where they are in their level of consciousness. And where you are is totally different. And even for you, it was a whole process to get where you are. So you've got to have a lot of compassion. Okay, but you've got to become an example. I don't tell people, hey, on the streets, join the seven day vegan challenge. No, I just live by example. People say, gosh. I want to live that lifestyle because apparently lots of vegans are having lots of fun. Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> What's number four? What's helped me to stop caring for people who hurt you, right? Is this stop ascribing intent. Certain times you may not receive a text message back the next second and now you're having a panic attack. You're having an anxiety attack. It happens. Someone didn't reply to my email, Ralph. Well, you just sent it like two, like, what, like one second ago, right? Okay, chill out. It's hard. Because we are living in a fast food culture. We want it right now. When we don't get it right now, we feel offended. I realize this. There could be a reason why somebody didn't reply back to you. They could be stuck in traffic. More so, they could be driving. You wouldn't want them to have an accident, would you? Would you? Exactly. Exactly. Okay? So, when I realized to stop ascribing intent, is to realize not everything someone is doing is in response to you. People have got things to deal with. Family issues, work issues, mouths to feed. We've got children to feed here, baby. Okay, so when you stop ascribing intent, you free yourself. It helps you become your greatest version. And that is how to stop caring for people who hurt you. Stop caring about it. Stop taking it to heart to realize that most of the times it's not as personal as you think. People are dealing with their own stuff. Now, number five, this is what's helped me along my journey, is to realize that a lot of people on the planet simply just need a hug. Like, can I, can I hug you right now? Because you look like you need one. You look like you need a hug. A lot of people do. Ever stare someone in the eyes when you're walking down the street? Try it out tomorrow. Today, in fact. Right? Certain people are smiling and certain people are not. Okay? A lot of people are hurting on the planet because a lot of people are not in alignment with their natural equilibrium. They are not in nature, therefore they are out of balance. So a lot of people are hurting on the planet because they have lost connection with their heart space and are primarily living in the ego. So I get it. Right, I've got an overstanding, an understanding, and an understanding that a lot of people are hurting on the planet. And once again, ain't got nothing to do with me. Can I get a hello there? Right, you are someone, because you wrote in saying that you are 
really helping this person out. And this can even happen in relationships. You're doing so much for them and they just throw it right back in your face. Okay? They are hurting. Their issues are not yours. Their issues were there before you came on the scene. What's number six? You end up with whatever you are willing to put up with. Slow motion this side. Mm. Let me repeat that. You end up with whatever you are willing to put up with. I used to work 12 hour days and then complain and say, what am I doing here? No, I was ending up in that job because I was willing to put up with it. I wasn't taking responsibility for my situation. Certain times you're hanging around certain friends, then you're gossiping about them when they're not there saying, I don't like this person. Then why are you hanging out with them? Nobody knows, not even the cat down the road. Not even the cat down the road, right? So ask yourself, what am I willing to tolerate? Because it takes two to tango, baby. Have you been tango dancing recently? Have you been salsa dancing recently? Then you know it takes two to make a party, okay? We often feel like helpless victims because somebody isn't being as reciprocal as we are. No, no, no. It's not their fault. We are putting up with it. Therefore, we are ending up with it. Cause and effect. So ask yourself, how much longer do I want to tolerate this BS? And if you don't, then walk on by. Right? We should do a song recently. <laughs> we should do a song right now. <laughs> Number seven is to ask yourself, how am I feeding into this person's arrested development? Let me explain. I meet people, I've counseled people who are in a relationship with addicts, who are in a relationship with someone who doesn't even care about themselves. They don't even brush their teeth when they wake up. Goodness gracious, I've got a problem. Don't worry about it. But they're still there for them. Certain people... They put up with anything and everything under the sun. But what they don't realize is that they are also feeding into this person's arrested development because they are like the band-aid. Right now, people feel justified in their behavior because you are helping their behavior. You are reinforcing their behavior. So they don't change unless you change something in what? you are doing for them, how you are relating to them and how you are responding to them. Okay. So it happened to me along my journey. I used to always, I'm a Pisces. So naturally I'm caring, I'm compassionate. I'm always giving and sharing and stuff. I'm also very indecisive, right? <laughs> so I realized I was doing so much for this friend. They were taking me for a joke, taking me for granted. But because I was always there, I was always doing stuff. They were like, okay, ever been to somebody's party and you just arrive and you're like, where's the food? Yeah, you're always taking these people for granted. And then you just leave and then they stop inviting you. Good. Now you can actually learn. <laughs> right? They have stopped feeding into your arrested development because now you've gotten lazy. That's why for me, I never take anybody for granted. Don't think because somebody is always sharing, they're always gonna be sharing. No, I could start charging for these videos, right? Premium. I would never do that though, because the cat down the road would give me a good beating around the, around the face, right? <laughs> Look, take off the Band-Aid and let people walk. They can do it. But once again, ask yourself, how are you feeding into their arrested development? And then when, once, you, once you stop feeding into their arrested development, they will have a moment of clarity to say, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Yeah, that, that, 
person, that friend was doing so much for me and now I actually feel what's, what's happening to me. Only because you've taken off the band-aid, okay? Now they see your true worth. Let's talk about number eight. How to stop caring for people who continually hurt you. Now, what's helped me along my journey is this. Care from a distance. We're going to go all the way back and then we're going to care for that person. All the way back and care for that person. Because, first of all, this person doesn't even give two hoots about you. They take you for granted. Like you send them stuff, they don't even reply to it. So you've got to care from a distance. Right now, who do I make these videos for? I make these videos for myself. It's part of therapy. It's so fun. <clears throat> I make it for the cat down the road. <laughs> but also, I make it for the amazing deep divers out there who really show gratitude and appreciation. Right now, if I was to call a deep diver and say, okay, I'm going to be in Hawaii. I've run out of grapes. Help me out. They're going to throw me a whole bunch of grapes. And that's how I end up waking up with a bunch of grapes in my mouth. Okay? Good, amazing people everywhere. But it's all about who you are focusing on. You see, we spend all our time, all our energy on people who don't serve us. So who's to blame? Them or us? Once you start caring from a distance, because certain people do genuinely need help. You don't want to just give up on people, but you want to care from a distance. You don't want to invest all your energy in somebody who doesn't care about you. That's not smart. Okay, once they actually do start showing the same level of care as you do to them, then you can start pouring out again. But not if they don't care, okay? So that's what's helped me along my journey. Care from a distance. You still care, it's just from a long distance away, right? You just send them a postcard every two years. That's great. <laughs> Number nine is compassion. Now, what's helped me along my journey is to realize that we're living in a world where a lot of people are heartless, soulless. And growing up, I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, facepalm moment. I hope that's not me. And for a, for a, for like a millisecond, it, it nearly was, right? Because just being in the rat race over a decade ago, I was, I saw myself changing and becoming like a heartless person. Then I came into nature and got my heart back, okay? The people that hurt you, that talk behind your back, that are never there for you. They need help. They are hurting. They need compassion. And that's why you got to realize it is you that has more strength by being able to give in the first place. This action, I'm giving to you compared to this action. Which is more powerful? This one, because I'm extending, I'm expanding. Okay, I'm not contracting. So be proud of yourself that you are even able to give so much that you have the mindset to help somebody else. Most people don't care. It shows you're a compassionate person. So I think we should invite you to the next seven day vegan challenge party and you are going to bring all the strawberries. <gasps> no, we would never do that to you. What are we going to bring for you? Well, we are going to actually lift you on our shoulders and say, you are the person who brought all the strawberries. You see how, we, how we're so reciprocal like that? You see how we're so reciprocal like that? Show compassion to people. Trust me, they need it, right? But it also frees you of their negative vibes just by showing compassion and then getting on your way. But don't become like these same people. Please don't, right? I nearly did. Then I said, wait a minute. Let me throw them a mango, throw them an apricot. And then they started to come around. <laughs> 
What's number 10? Make them realize your presence. You see, people don't actually appreciate your presence until you are no longer there. Slow motion this side. Like if I stop making videos, gosh, there would be a riot, right? I predict a riot. <laughs> that would never happen though. But many times, we care for people who hurt us because we feed into their arrested development, but because we fail to realize that if we pull back, now they will actually appreciate our presence a lot more. So this is what we call holding the space, pulling back, okay? And these people who you say have hurt you, who don't respect you, who don't even care what you're doing for them, they will actually realize the worth you hold and have. And they will say, my gosh, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so, so sorry. They'll, they'll do something like that, right? Then you'll say, so you should be. Then you'll just go outside and go to the beach and just eat pineapples reconciliation but you got to make them realize your presence by sometimes not always being there and then they will really really know why you are so valuable and then you both say feel so good to be alive baby can i get a hello <laughs> we are out here in nature Woo! Getting high, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Have a beautiful day. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace. You! <laughs>